SARS was also a coronavirus in 2002. It infected 8,000 people and it killed about 775. It had a mortality of about 9 to 10%. So that's only 8,000 people in about a year. In the two and a half months that we've had this coronavirus, as you know, we now have multiple multiples of that. So it clearly is not as lethal, and I'll get to the lethality in a moment, but it certainly spreads better. Probably for the practical understanding of the American people, the seasonal flu that we deal with every year has a mortality of 0.1%. The stated mortality overall of this, when you look at all the data, including China, is about 3%. It first started off as two and now three. I think if you count all the cases of minimally symptomatic or asymptomatic infection, that probably brings the mortality rate down to somewhere around 1%, which means it is 10 times more lethal than the seasonal flu. I think that's something that people can get their arms around and understand about less lethal than, than N1H1 or SARS? And no, absolutely not. H1N1 is even, the 2009 pandemic of H1N1 was even less lethal than the, than the regular seasonal flu. It was a yeah, pandemic. I, I'm trying to help the American people know where to appropriately set their gauge. I think they set the gauge is that this is a really serious problem that we have to take seriously. I mean, people always say, well, the flu, you know, the flu does this, the flu does that. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. Sure. This has a mortality of 10 times that. Okay. And that's the reason why I want to emphasize we have to stay ahead of the game in preventing this.